what's up? Welcome back to Time Walk TV for another Magic Arena video. My name is Ron, and today we're jumping into best of one with Winona, Joiner of Forces. Yes, Winona, the one that brings out all the Agent of Treacheries, we're bringing that back. And we are running the Jeskai colors today. I know a bunch of these lists have gone four and five colors and played some crazy cards, but we're sticking to Jeskai colors right now, mainly because I want to lean back into the adventure cards like Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant, both non human, so they trigger Winona and have meaningful spells attached to them so that we can get the game to a spot where we like it. So we can either kill something with Bone Crusher Giant or we can bounce something with Brazen Borrower to kind of tempo our way out of it. We also have Teferi Time Raveler in this deck, which goes really well with the Brazen Borrower. Because when you Petty Theft something, if they try to play it again, you can just play Teferi and bounce it. And then that gives you a little bit of wiggle room to land your Winona and hopefully attack and get some of those sweet triggers to get those Agent Treacheries in play. So let's go and hop into Arena, take a look at the deck, see what it's all about, and uh, see if we can take this to seven wins in the Arena Open next week. All right, welcome into Arena. Let's go and take a look at the deck here, see what it's all about, and see if this is something that you'd like to run in the Arena Open, or in just best of one in general, because it's a pretty sweet deck, and I've been uh, very happy with the results so far. So just taking a look at the early spells that we have here, we have Charming Prince, which is a great human to grab, especially if we have an Asia Treachery already in the battlefield because we can blink it. But in the early turns, we're going to be using it to scry two to find our Winona easily, or, you know, we can gain three life with it, which actually is a pretty big deal. Raise the Alarm makes two white soldier tokens. They're not human, so they do trigger Winona when they do swing. So that's pretty sweet. Um, the cards that I've added to this deck are the Bone Crusher Giants and the Brazen Borrowers, uh, mainly because they are two mana interactive spells, so we can bounce something, we can kill something, but also they are pretty solid creatures, a 3-1 Flyer and a 4-3 uh, Ground Pounder that are not human, so they trigger Winona. It's actually pretty good. Legion War Boss is one of the staples of this deck. It's a goblin that keeps churning out more goblins that are non-human, so they trigger Winona. Um, Teferi Time Rambler is a card that we don't see too often in these decks because they are, you know, so headstrong and focused on getting that combo off that they don't really uh, tend to play this card and some of them have moved more into a green base. Um, I'm not sure why, but, you know, they kind of like it that way. But I'm really partial to Teferi. I know it's such a mean card and everybody hates it, but, you know, I got to do what I got to do and Teferi is really sweet and uh, does really well, especially with Brazen Borrower because when you bounce something with Brazen Borrower, well, you can just play Teferi and bounce it again. So keeping them off of what they're doing while setting up to do our little Winona uh, Joiner of Forces combo here. Uh, we also have Elite, uh, Elite Guard Mage. Um, this is a gain life, draw a card, 2-3 flower, good blocker, especially in best of one when we're playing a lot of aggro decks, a lot of Luris decks. Um, and even if against the mid-range or control decks, we're going to be able to draw cards and have the evasion to fly over. Uh, the main card of this deck is about Winona, Joiner of Forces, 2 red white for a 4-4 four, four legendary creature human warrior. Um, so whenever a non-human creature you control attacks, look at the top 6 cards of your library, you may put a human card uh, from among them onto the battlefield, tap the attacking, it gains indestructible, put the rest on the bottom in, any, uh, in a random order. So the main thing we want to do with these lists, especially if you want to build your own Winona, Winona decks, is that you want to make sure that you have at least 15 to 17 human uh, cards in the deck just to make sure that this hits on a pretty normal basis. Now, it's not always going to hit. Obviously, there's a lot of RNG with this card. You're only looking at the top six. But for the most part, as long as you have about 15 to 17 humans, it's going to hit almost every time for you. Uh, we're adding in a Kenrith because it basically gains you life, draws you cards, makes everything have trample. So... If you find it off of your Winona, you can, you can just uh, spend a red, give everything trample, and get that win. Now here's the other side of the combo, the four agent treacheries, which are human rogues, so you can hit them off of Winona. So by turn four, you can possibly have two agent treacheries in play, which is pretty wild, so that wins the game pretty quick on the spot. And when it's best of one, that's all you want to do. Win the game quick, beat them down, and sometimes you don't even find this card and you can just beat down with just your three drops which is super nice. A lot of the other decks are so headstrong and focused on comboing these two that they kind of uh, lack in the uh, mid-range or this part of the deck where you can try to win without the actual namesake card. So that's why I kind of like this one. And I favor this one just a little bit more. 
Uh, the mana base is pretty straightforward. Four Hallowed Fountains, four Steam Vents, four Sacred Foundries, two uh, Triumphs, three Fail Passage, six Basics, and two Temple of Enlightenment. So there's a lot of white in this deck, so having the uh, tapped white source there. No sideboard, obviously best of one. Uh, the deck's pretty sweet. So far, so far, I'm 8-1 and one with the deck in best of one. So it's going pretty well, and that's where we want to be in that you know, six to two, seven to one style, uh, winning of those games in that much uh, succession so that we can get to that seven wins on the arena open, make day two. Let's do it. So let's hop into arena and get some wins with this deck. I think we can get some more. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get to mythic. So we'll see you in there. All righty then, we're back at it again. Um, hands okay. We have a two drop into Teferi and Divinona. But we could do like bounce, play, cast one on a swing with a fairy, trigger this. So we have we have some options here. Um, usually I like keeping like three landers with four non lands, but this is this is okay. Um, again, we are on the draw, but they're playing a little bit slow. So actually, we're gonna temple first so we can see what's on top. Legion War boss. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> um. Unfortunately, we, our only red source is the Fabled Passage, so we may have to take turn two off, which is not looking like it's too big of a deal. <laughs> Play this into this, and we get the draw card. Why, thank you. I love it. <laughs> these nice players are so nice. They let me play these cards. They let me draw cards, and I like that. I love drawing cards. It's my favorite thing to do. I mean, for two, 17, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay. I'm actually just going to do this now because I like wasting time. Give me a mountain, please. Okay. Um, poor token's going to eat, is going to uh, bite the dust basically here. Well, we're a little bit, of course. Of course. Um,. Yeah, so I guess we'll just do this. Token's going to bite the dust here. Probably from the 2-2. Two -two. Um, next turn we can block the 1-1. One -one. Ooh, we have a kill spell too, which is pretty nice. Because we'll have to swing with this and the token. We'll see if they actually kill this. Um, usually these knight's decks don't play uh, many removal spells, honestly. Um, what I'm hoping for here is a full-out swing with an Embercleave. Uh, they're actually not playing Embercleave because they're playing Luris. So, <laughs> so two, four, six, go down to 10. Blacklands Paragon, okay. Sure, that's not a knight, but you can do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, we're at 10. We're not, we're not too bad, too bad. If they play another creature, then we're in a little bit of trouble they did not okay all right so let's get a little lucky here um we have other options as well then we can kill this we can bounce this uh i think we just want to if we're when we're at five mana we can actually war boss plus one of these so i think the play is still playing this card Oh, don't have a kill spell, please. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Trigger. Oh, oh no. Trigger. Woo. Let's go, boys. Thank you. Yoink. Good blocker here. Human Knight doesn't trigger this, but that's okay. This has indestructible as well, which is nice. Some don't realize it has indestructible. Um, are we dead on the backswing? No, because they're playing Luris and they don't have Embercleave. So, <laughs> next turn we get to play Warboss plus a kill spell here, which is sweet. Uh, no blocking is going to be done with Winona here. They're shocking in. Okay. Still not dead. Still not dead. Okay, sweet. Okay. We're going to have to get really lucky. Really lucky here. 
Okay, so you're going to be blocking old, uh, the old boy here taking six. Let's see if they have a pump spell. Three, six. They have a pump spell that deals three and fury eight for one mana. Say it ain't so, opponents. Say it ain't so. <laughs> Say it ain't so. <laughs> Oh, okay. No problemo. Um, let's see. So I think what'll be a three. So being at three and one is completely irrelevant at this point. <laughs> um, so I guess we'll shock this in. We'll play War Boss, and then we'll go to combat. Trigger these two. Swing with everything. Trigger. Many triggers. Okay. Uh, we'll get the boy chin wonder here. This guy. We'll take this person. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Let's go! That was sweet. Totally worth the one tick. <laughs> well, 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 we're back again. Another game, another on the draw play here. <laughs> um, hand is pretty weak. We do have Bone Crusher and a Teferi into Anona, so I think we actually keep, even though an agent's in our hand. We're on the draw though. Ugh, I think we have to keep it. This is a removal spell. Um, and we're against Urian, so I'm guessing it's a Luka deck. At this at this point, anytime Urian shows up, I think it's uh, uh, Yorian, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, Jess guy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I figured. I figured it would be so. So we got to hit uh, Legion War Boss, maybe. That would be really. Ho ho! You don't say. Well, I'm gonna just. We're just shocking ourselves all day, every day. Um. <laughs> I'm not sure what they have, but I'm just hoping that they don't have, like, Shadow of the Sky. Please don't have Shadow of the Sky. They might have Dovin's Veto. Dovin's Veto me, baby. Wap. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to just keep... We're just going to keep shocking ourselves over and over. Now, this is a little more risky of a play because they could have Shatter. Um, playing Brazen Borrower at the end of their turn is uh, a little bit better, I think. Um, they don't have to raise the alarm or anything like that, but they do. They could have played like Omen of the Sun, but they decided to put it in tapped. Um, they just pass here. It's pretty, pretty darn good for us. So we'll see if this survives. They could have a counter spell. I don't know why they would play counter spells. This is a dispute. I can see. That's definitely what I can, I can see. I can see them playing that card for sure. The other ones, eh. Like, I thought it was like, going to be like an absorb or something. Um, this is nice. We're in a good spot because next turn we'll have five mana, so three, four, five. If they want to play something, we can just bounce it. As far as I mentioned, okay. Uh, birth, sure. Land, okay. So we have a pretty good, we're in a pretty good spot here, actually. Um, so first, let's swing. Swing all. Five. So we want to probably play this and play, well, three, four, five. I think I'm actually going to go out on a limb here, and I think we want to do... <laughs> I was going to bounce the birth. So that they didn't make a zero four, and then have the uh, Bone Crusher Giant to burn them at the end of turn as well. So we had the other option of of playing with uh, Brazen Borrower and Bone Crusher Giant together. So casting Brazen Borrower itself, and then shocking them, and that would be five damage. You know, granted they don't do anything, but again, this is the the plus side of this deck is that usually it beats these uh, Jeskai Luka decks uh, on a higher percentage. I think just because of the aggression from the three drops so sweet good win there let's keep it going welcome in 
we have a bit of an issue now. We're on the play finally, but we have the most uh, god awful hand I've ever seen. This is awesome. These four, sweet. Bone Crush Giant, okay, but we don't have red mana. Two agent treacheries in our hand. No, thank you. Mulligan. <gasps> Better. We can put this guy back. I like it. I can dig this. We don't have any red mana, but maybe this finds it. Maybe. Because we really need to find red mana, so we're going to keep. Pop that guy down there. Scry red mana. Please. One time. Eh. Mm, come on. Who are we playing against? The uh, probably mono red. I would assume mono red, so I'm going to keep this. Usually when there's no... Uh, Okay, mono black maybe. Gutter bones? Knight of the Even Legion. Okay. I guess we're playing the tempo game so we can find a red mana. <laughs> Ooh, red black. Ooh, butcher. <gasps> what the world, dude? What's going on here? Huh. I wouldn't say I'm just like overly excited about this. I'll petty theft that. They get a counter on this. Damn it. All the hell. Okay. We're deferring this back to their hand. Drawing a card. We did it. We did it. Because now they're going to play this. They kill this. As long as they don't have another land to play this, I'll be happy. Dang it. <laughs> Why do I even talk? <laughs> Why? <laughs> All right. Well, we're a, we're a turn behind, but that's okay. Damn. Unfortunate to say the least. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have to attack here. Um, they get to swing for maybe five. Let's just give plus three, four, five, six. Yikes. Well, um, let's not kill our Legion War boss, please. Thank you very much. I could have just waited till their end step to play Brazen Borrow and then played Winona, but I don't know. We're, we're here living on the edge here, keeping two red cards and not having a red mana. So it was a good mold of six. Don't get me wrong. No blocks. Please and thank you. Pump the, the knight. Pump the knight. Pump the knight. Stop not pumping the knight because that means you have spells that you want to cast. And I don't, enjoy, I don't appreciate that kind of anarchy in this chat. <laughs> in this game. Please. Just pump your knight, even if the, the I know the attack step's over, but just pump it. Okay, that's fine too. You know why? Because it doesn't kill this card. Appreciate it. Stop, stop, stop. Don't claim the firstborn, please. Oh no, they can do that and kill it. Ah, damn. Ah, I spoke too soon. Okay. Well, this game is going... <laughs> It's about as uh, bad as it could be. <laughs> That's sweet. We're keeping that one. Um, I'm actually going to shock this in because I want to. I want to play both. Um, in the turn, we're probably just going to take a bunch of damage. Um, if they swing, I'm like tempted to play this and and block because that's what four, five, six, seven. Priests of the Forgotten Gods. Okay. I can dig it. And they can't pump now. Oh. Oh, they want me to block that so bad. I'm not. I'm, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do such things. Next turn is going to be huge for us. Play Raise the Alarm. Cast Brazen Borrower. Yes, put a counter on that. Pass the turn. That is that is summoning sickness, my friend. End the turn. It's my turn now. Stop hovering cards, please. It's my turn. Please, just pass the turn. <laughs> I hate I hate the whole like watching them hover cards. Can we please remove that? Please. I hate that. What are you gonna do? You're just gonna sack something? You're gonna sack this? The anticipation is killing me. Please. I know I already have one in hand and I'm probably going to draw another one because that's how, how the game works, but them taking a literal year. 
Please stop hovering my cards. You're on the inside. You can't do anything about it. <laughs> Please. <laughs> this is agonizing, man. Come on. <laughs> we can do it. Bump, ba -dun 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 -dun. Winona. Please don't have Heartless something or other. Don't have Heartless Act, please. And thank you. Stop hovering your cards. <laughs> we did it. Okay, we got the swing. <laughs> Shoot. Sure. I'll keep this one. I will... Um... Hmm. Let's let's charming prince and we can scry. Um, put that to the bottom. I, maybe I should have kept that actually. Charming prince. Do we exile anything? No. Gain three life. I mean, we're dead, right? We're just dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. We really needed to hit a couple of these boys. Even three life isn't going to save us because they can pump this to a five, eight, nine. That's exact these. No. If I gain life without it, I'm fine, dude. Oh, no. Well, let's see. Well, I could, I could, I could uh, flicker this, right? I can flicker that and block something block here five six uh, okay we'll do that actually I think it's better to do this because when that comes back in I can gain three life and still have a blocker ooh ooh the plays boys the plays they're not gonna block obviously why would they block oh I guess they can block a token right <laughs> can we survive to next turn Uh, gain three life, please, and thank you. <laughs> Activate this. We're going to sack our token. <laughs> Don't have a kill spell for this, please. Well, if they, they have to pump to kill me, right? So, what's that? Turn into a five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, we're at exactly nine. They need to pump to do that. That doesn't do it, I don't think. Okay, it doesn't have haste or anything, right? Okay, it just it just gets big. So they're not pumping this. Okay. Okay. This has haste now, huh? Three, four, five puts me to. Oh, we're gonna live by with like two. Block there. I don't think they. I think. I think we're. I think we're gonna live. I think we're gonna live. Sack that. Actually, I should have sacked this and left that. Oh, that was really bad. That was extraordinarily bad. Why did I do it like that? Oh my gosh! What am I doing? We have for two mana. There's no way. If I if I sack this, it would have been better since I would have had two triggers on one one instead of one. So that is kind of a big a big oof. Uh, this doesn't have trample, right? Just gains first strike. I don't understand. Don't have. Okay, so we we win, I think. Four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, this is this is terrifying. Uh, we need to hit one, one human. Give me a human on top, baby. All right, like that. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, swing. One human, baby. Let's go. Woo! Let's go, boys. Give me, give me this. Yes, I messed up, but I still got the win. <laughs> Let's go.
Dang, we are so lucky. We're so lucky. All right, so we got to play a few games and they were super hilarious. Saw some really funny wins and just had a lot of fun playing this deck. This deck is a blast to play and it's sometimes really uh, hard and confusing sometimes as well, just knowing when to play what, when to sack certain creatures or anything like that. We made some misplays, but we ended up getting a bunch of wins, so I'm super happy with the deck. Honestly, this is probably the deck that I'm going to be playing in the Arena Open. It has a combo style finish. It's pretty aggressive. It's got uh, good interactive spells in Brazen Borrow or Bonecrusher Giant and Teferi. So it can kind of play that sort of mid-range deck as well. And sometimes Legion War Boss just wins you the game. So I'm leaning toward this now, but we're going to be exploring more stuff this week as well. Maybe moving a little bit more into the aggro style list just because those are more popular. Because best of one, you want to try to get the win as soon as possible keep moving on especially if you're planning on playing this event more than one time because they do allow you to enter more than one time on best than one for the first day so if you want to play an aggro deck boom 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 you can get you know go five and three pay some more money get back in there try to get those seven wins but uh, i think i'm leaning more toward this i really like the way this deck is set up we might tweak the numbers here and there maybe more brazen borrowers maybe something like that i think any of the issues that i had was just me misplaying and just not reading the situation correctly so you know that's just being human and making mistakes honestly but the deck is super super powerful and sometimes you get those games where you just play legion war boss into winona and then you win the game so um, that's a really cool aspect of it and it can get you some free wins which is always nice when you're playing in such a uh, brutal format as best of one so highly recommend this deck go ahead and check it out in the description links down there really appreciate you go and hit that subscribe button if you're new like the uh, video because it does help out quite a bit uh thank you guys for watching and remember magic is great and so are you stay positive and play island